Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at some more 6 inch black series figures from Star Wars The Force Awakens and in today's review we're going to take a look at the very cool and very menacing Captain Phasma. This is an absolutely awesome figure and I have definitely saved the best to last with this recent batch of 6 inch reviews. This is a phenomenal figure and easily one of my favourite figures from the entire 6 inch range. We're going to take a look at this one in a little bit more detail in just a little bit but rest assured she is easily one of the most sought after and eagerly anticipated figures from this entire line. So if you do see this one out in the wild be sure to grab one and she won't hang around for long. She's a very popular character indeed. So on to the packaging that this one comes in. As you can see we do get the standard Black Series 6 inch packaging for this figure. Get the logo there at the top accompanied by some very cool and very striking artwork down in the bottom corner. On the reverse side of the box we have a brief description of the character and as you can see Captain Phasma is number 6 in the recent batch of Black Series 6 inch figures. So this figure is part of wave 2, again this wave is slowly but surely making its way into stores so if you do see this figure hanging on the pegs don't hesitate, pick her up because odds are when you go back she'll have gone. So onto the figure itself and as I said this one is superb. What I really love about this figure is the way that Hasbro have executed the overall figure itself. Um, paint applications, sculpt, detail, scale are absolutely off the chain and this is again one of the best figures from the entire 6 inch range, at least for The Force Awakens. As I said the scale of the figure is very very nice indeed. Um, in the film, Captain Phasma is played by actress Gwendolyn Christie, who some of you may know as playing Brienne of Tarth in Game of Thrones. If you've seen that series, you'll know she's a, a rather tall actress. I think she stands at around 6 foot 3. Um, so with that being said, obviously the figure of Captain Phasma has to be a little bit bigger. So she does stand a little taller than 6 inches. And if we compare her to, say, I don't know, let's take Kylo Ren for example, as you'll see, Toe to toe, soul to soul, you know, she is much taller and a very striking and imposing figure. So very nice that Hasbro upped the scale on this one and gave us more plastic for our money. Um, any instance where we get a lot more than we bargained for is always a plus, in my opinion, especially considering the price of some of these figures. So there we go. In terms of sculpt and detail, this one is absolutely phenomenal. As you'll see, she does have that very cool armour which is primarily based on the First Order Stormtrooper design. If we just move the blaster out of the way, you'll see all that sculpted detail going on on the torso, on the wrist gauntlets there as well, even down to the legs. Obviously the armour does differ slightly to the regular Stormtrooper armour, especially in the lower legs, it's a little bit chunkier, she's got sort of uh, these boot highlights going on, um, it's much heavier armour in many ways, really does give her a sort of elite, um, higher up in the, the chain of command sort of feel. As you can see the helmet differs slightly as well, you've got a much sharper edge around the bottom of the helmet. You've got these grooves in the top as well and those very cool black highlights for the lenses and the mouthpiece. In terms of articulation, Phasma does feature a ball joint and a hinge at the neck so she can look up, down and all around like with most Black Series 6 inch figures. She does have hinges at the shoulders, elbows and wrists as well, although as you can see, due to the plastic cape, the articulation is restricted slightly on the left side. She does feature a ball joint at the torso as well, hinges at the hips, swivels at the thighs, hinges at the knees and hinges at the ankles. On the thigh there you'll see the groove for the blaster which can be removed from the hands and stored on the side of the leg for when she's not battle ready. Just bear with me while I try and get that in for you. There we go. Very cool looking indeed. As you can see the blaster rifle is sculpted really nicely. Give you a look at that close up. Great detail on this blaster. Um, it is the same one that was included with the first order stormtrooper, uh, first order snow trooper, sorry. Officer, the Toys R Us exclusive figure. Obviously this time around it's been painted up in a sort of metallic gold colour. Once again, which really does hammer home that sort of elite, almost regal feel that Captain Phasma has. 
Um, while we're on the subject of the cape, obviously once again it is made of plastic um, and it is a rather heavy duty plastic, very uh, very tough, not quite flexible so again um, it does restrict some of that movement in the arm. But as you can see you've got that red trim around the edge which once again adds to the, uh, the rank of the figure or the character. And the overall finish on the armour is very nice as well. Um, it isn't vac metal, it's not reflective, um, it's very similar in terms of the paint used to the Captain Phasma figure from the three and three quarter inch line, but I think it works fine as it is. It's nice and shiny, it's metallic, and it looks great, so no real complaints there. Again, overall, this is a phenomenal figure. Um, I absolutely love how uh, bulky and tall she is, and um, really love the way that Hasbro have handled this figure. And again, in my opinion, it's one of the best from the entire six inch line of Force Awakens figures. So if you do see it on shelves, be sure to pick it up. You will not regret it. And alongside Kylo Ren and a few Stormtroopers, she will make for one awesome display. So that is gonna wrap up this review on Captain Phasma from the Black Series six inch line. Hope you've enjoyed taking a look at her and I'll be back to give you a look at some more figures very soon. Got some uh, more Lego sets to give you a look at, some figures from Star Wars Rebels as well. So plenty to look forward to on the channel. So until then, as always, thank you for watching, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.